Hi crafty friends and welcome back to my blog and YouTube channel. Today I am showing you how I made the birthday card I made for my dad who turned 85 a few weeks ago. So I started with the Ulta New Cube Builder stencil <laughs> and I, I didn't show you how I had to um, do a lot of testing on this to actually get it to uh, work out as a cube. I struggled to work out how to lay the stencil down um, to get that cube shape. But um, I did that off camera and now I'm just uh, inking it up with three shades of the Ulta New inks. And the three shades I'm using are uh, lime so lime sorry limestone, silverstone, and industrial diamond, which are the three lightest shades in that um, grey four pack. So I just took a four and a quarter by five and a half inch uh, panel of Nina Solar White, and I will cut that down later. But um, I wanted to do the whole panel in this stencil. And then I can just choose the the best bits to, to cut down because the uh, as you can see from the video the um, outside edges I sometimes had to go over twice because the stencil didn't reach it right out to the to the end but uh, I, I went with the darkest shade of gray on the right hand side of the cube and the second darkest shade on the left hand side of the cube and the lightest shade on the top of the cube. I thought that gave the, the uh, most realistic look to the, to the cubes. So I'm just finishing up here the little bits that missed the stencil and uh, that is that panel all completed. Now the fun part starts because I get out my alcohol inks and a strip of Yupo paper and just have some fun um, squirting far too much alcohol ink onto my panel but hey it was fun and um, I enjoyed it. So I went with various shades of reds and threw in a slate as well. So the different shades of alcohol ink I used were cranberry, watermelon, crimson, poppy field in red pepper and as I said I also use some slate just to darken it up a bit in, in patches. So I'm just dropping it onto a strip of Yupo paper wherever I fancy and then I'll pick up my little spritzer tool and move that around um, the panel. I, I was really wanting, because I, I went for a monochromatic look, I was really wanting the, the definition, those lines um, between the um, various drops of ink so I went back over and, and added more drops to get more of those lines. This is such a fun part, I really really enjoy working with the alcohol inks, it's just so fun and, um, and you just keep going and going and going until you end up with a thick and sticky mess. But put it aside to dry, and um, it does it does dry eventually. So um, oh yeah, as I say, I just kept playing until I was happy with the with the, the, the those hard lines between the different drops of ink. I didn't use any blending solution on this panel at all, so it was it was pure alcohol ink. So it was really rich, deep colours, and you can see from the state of the back of it how much ink I actually used. Uh, and to clean up, um, hand sanitizer works a treat. So just a hand sanitizer and a baby wipe, and it came off the glass media mat, no problem at all. Um, and uh, I did that a couple of times just to get the last remaining bits off because it, it was red and it was a bit stubborn, but it did it came off easily. So now we're at the assembly stage and you can see to the right there of the screen that I have die cut the happy birthday to you from black card and I've also cut a tiny little thin strip of black to put between the stenciled panel and the alcohol ink panel just to add some more definition. So the alcohol ink panel is now dry and I'm just going to adhere that straight down onto a white top folding card base using my ATG. So um, the, all the die cut letters 
uh, are all sitting there waiting for when I get to the end of the card. Um, now, I not so much with this panel, but coming up you'll see I had a few glue issues with this card. And, um, and honestly, if it could go wrong, it did. Um, my uh, multi-medium matte, whatever it's called, glue was near the end of it and I could not squeeze any out. So um, I grabbed another container and you can see that here this is nearly out and it was really not squirting out well. So I grabbed another container but didn't have that little precision tip on it so it squirted out massively um, and then, then I put my um, put it onto the little strip of black and it was so so much liquid glue on there that the little strip kept slipping and sliding all over the place. I've got glue on my glass media mat. Um, what you can't see here is out of frame is me trying to get that little black strip lined up properly and I push one end and the other end slides and oh man, honestly. Uh, I seem to have these days um, where nothing goes right and this was one of those days and it was glue issues. But then I took a, a piece of craft foam and adhered that to the back with some um, of the, what is it, the green glue, I can't even remember what it's called now. Um, and uh, again, that was a, a brand new bottle, over squirted that, um, had to clean that up off the glass mat. And then on the back of it, when I glued the back of the um, craft foam, got too much again so I had to try and push that back towards the center so it wouldn't ooze out the sides because that glue um, doesn't dry clear like the um, Ranger glue does but anyway we got there we got there in the end so uh, here's the card without any sentiment on it so we've got the raised up stenciled panel with the black strip and then the alcohol ink panel so I'm popping out all the letters and I'm going to use the negative die cut for my uh, as a template so I sit that on there um, grab my glue and try squeezing and she was a hard job squeezing that glue so in the end um, I <laughs> grabbed another tube and swapped the um, tips over and it went so much easier I'm such a I'm such a cheapskate that I hate wasting that little bit of glue in the bottom of the, in the bottom of the bottle. So I keep squeezing, squeezing, squeezing until it's so hard I can't get any more out. And then I and I'm like, they're only two dollars forty nine people, you know. It's not it's not a huge amount of money, but um, anyways, I get there in the end. So I'm placing the letters into the gaps left by the negative die cut. Get to the end of it, and all I have left to do is the Y. Now to bring the Y up to the same level as the rest of the letters, I need to put some foam tape on that. So I um, get a tiny little strip, thin little sliver of, of foam tape and um, put that on the back of the Y. And uh, <laughs> again, glue issues, um, tape issues in this case. Put it on the back of the Y and... Uh, I finally get it onto the card. Don't like the look of it because there's you can see bits of white tape sticking out the side. So pull it back off, pull the tape off, and start all over again. In the end, uh, I did I did get it on there. Um, I still wasn't 100% happy with it, but it is what it is, and my dad didn't care. So that's all that matters. So you can see me here fiddling around. Cutting off the little bit that hung over the top. Um, Going to drop that into the negative space. Lift it up. Lift up all the other letters. Oh, look, I'm missing a few letters. Put it back down again. Push out the H. Oh, no, missing the I still. Push out the I. Yay. No, don't like that Y. So off comes the tape. And here we go, some more tape. 
so I finally got the Y in place. Um, I did actually cut a little bit out of there because it was just painful to watch. Um, I'm now double checking, triple checking, and then I grabbed my needle tool, which is just a long, pointy, uh, sharp tool, and I just go round all those little uh, bits of paper fibre that, that you tend to get when you die cut, and I just sort of scrape those off the card. And that's my card for my dad. So um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video with all my glue issues, and um, I will catch you next time. Thanks so much for visiting. Bye.